Review. Review. Do you do you know what's going on? Yeah. What is going on? Podcast. Oh oh whoa yeah. Well, something happened, and I don't know what happened, but I'll give you a clue. Yeah. We yeah. watched Clue. We watched Clue. Yeah. Why did we watch Clue? Um. So it's a 1985 film based on the board game Clue or Cluedo. Yeah. Uh, in which you play one of several party guests who have to solve a murder. Because someone gets whacked. Because a guy gets whacked. A guy gets whacked. In the film, it's, and I think in the American version, it's Mr. Body. But in the UK version, it's Dr. Black. Is it? Mm-hmm. I always thought it was one of the people gets whacked. No, no, it's a different character. Oh. I thought, um, like, Professor Professor Green is getting whacked. No. In, what they did do, they updated the game and introduced a different mechanic in which, within the deck of cards, there is a, like, a timing element. So you withdraw, you get a certain amount of time, and then a character dies. What keeps that di- so people can keep yeah, dying? Yeah, so as you play in it, you can die. But well, you can hear more about that on next week's podcast, which will be a backdoor pilot for my board game podcast. <laughs> board game news. Yeah. Where was I up to in that? You just spoke about the game board game Cluedo <laughs> phrase. <laughs> so, bah, 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 which game people die? Yeah, bah, 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 bah. People in a house, someone dies. And the film borrows the plot of the game. Yeah, it's a murder mystery. Yeah, okay. That's easy. It's a murder mystery. That's exactly what it's yeah. Cluedo, but in a film. Our, dis- the f- our discussion might be a bit spoiler, spoilerific. Yeah, but who cares? It's, a, it's from 80s. Yeah. You know what? Just spoilers. Don't watch Clue. No. Ever. That was the review. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like any of this film? The best thing about the film is the cast. It's got a really good cast. It's got everyone in it. It's got Marty McFly in it, and it's got Spinal Tap, and then that's it. It's got Tim Curry. Yeah. So and it's got um, Harvey Kinkle. It's got Tim Curry in it as the butler. Yeah. Tim Curry's from... The Clown. The Clown. It's got Madeline Kahn. James Kahn. Madeline Kahn was out of Blazing Saddle. She was the one with the black hair. Yeah. Uh, Christopher Lloyd, who's in... Oh, Christopher Lloyd's Mark McFly. Yeah. You just kept touching everyone's bums. Uh, yeah. It was really creepy. Such one person's bum. You no, know, he did it twice. Well, the, the corpse. Yeah, well. the dead woman. Yeah. Uh, Michael McKean's in it. Yeah. Who's in... His name's Michael McKean. Yeah. I've written down Chris McKean. You're th- confusing with Christopher Guest. Oh. Because they're both in... Spinal Tap. Yeah. Uh, Martin Chuck. Mull is in it. Chuck, he's Henry K- Harvey Kinkle. <laughs> yeah, Martin was the uh, principal in Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Yep, Harvey Kinkle. And he's Jean Parmesan in Arrested Development. Uh, and Colleen Camp is in it as the maid. What? Is the maid? Mm-hmm. Was she invited there as well? She worked there. For who? Whose house was it? Um, The body. It was Nick Cotton. It wasn't his house, because he, he was invited there as well. What? Oh, it was the, someone's house. It was the dog's house. Yeah. It was the dog's house. Yeah. Okay. So, they, yeah, there was loads of people in it. Dog clue. But, mm, so, yeah, there's loads of people in it, and, and, and it was like, oh, look, they're all them people that I know from films, like Molly McFly and Chris McKean. Yeah. Uh, Chris McKean, as I enjoyed him just throughout the film. Yeah. Everyone's trying. I think it's like if it was people unknown, it, it would have gotten, I would have switched it off. Yeah. But because you know it's like, oh, I would recognize them faces. I've yeah. trusted them in other films and I'm going to trust them to get me through it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's got to be something else. There's got to be a reason that they're in this film. Yeah. And then, then sometimes you just enjoy them being themselves and that you enjoy them just hanging out with each other. Like I enjoyed uh, Chris McKean and Tim Curry just messing about. Right, okay. Totally forgot that it's a film anymore, and then just watching them mess about in suits. Yeah, like, they're all good. Mm-hmm. And they're all trying. And they've got nothing to work with. 
No. At all. It's This is similar to Knives Out in, like, the script is the worst part of this. But they're making the most of it because I, I was laughing throughout the film. No, you were laughing for, like, ten minutes. It, that was a good... For the first 15 minutes, you were... You, at one point, within the first 15 minutes, you said, should we turn this off? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was dead boring at the first 15 minutes. And then there was like three jokes in a row there was, that you laughed at. There was 10 minutes where it just went mental. Yeah, I don't even think that was 10 minutes. That We're, was like three jokes. It was just three jokes? Yeah. That was boss. Yeah. I was proper belly laughing. At, yeah. uh, I don't even remember what it was. Oh, he it's, it's just turned the shower on. Mm-hmm. She got wet and then yeah. someone opened the door and then yeah. they got killed. Yeah. The policeman. Oh, I was laughing at um, them locking the policeman in the room again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think that was a joke. No, and a belly laughed at that. Yeah, and and the I like the Chris McKean ending as well. Yeah, because he's he's portrayed as a gay man. Yeah, and at the end he just says it's like it's all undercover, and then he says I'm gonna go home and sleep with my wife. Yeah, so throughout the entirety of the film, they're waiting for the police to arrive. Mm-hmm. And there's corpses everywhere. Yeah. And they're trying to figure out who met, who's the murderer. Otherwise, they'll all get arrested because they can't explain the corpses. And they're all committing crimes. They're all doing bad things. Yeah. They're all guilty. Yeah. So uh, we'll get to the end, multiple endings in a bit. But <laughs> okay. At the end of that ending, the police show up. Yeah. Chris... And Michael McKean yeah. reveals I think that it's Chris he's McKean. Been, he's been an undercover policeman. Yeah, and like anyone else doing that line, it would have just, just came up offensive. Or just horrible. Yeah. And it's still it's still offensive. Yeah. Like the earlier moment when they say we're split into pairs mm-hmm. and everyone wants to go with the young woman. The maid in the yeah. slutty maid yeah. uniform. Um so they draw straws. They draw see, matches. Yeah. To see who will be paired up. Mm-hmm. He gets paired up with her and he's annoyed. He hates it. Because the straight men want to be with her. So therefore the gay man must not want to be paired up with her. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you liked about it? No. I liked the, the it had some references that were correct to the game. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Because I really like the game. I really like Cluedo. So you like the weapons? So when I was like, oh yeah, they've got all the weapons from the game. They've got the rope. I like the one got, got a gun. Pipe. You just got a gun. Yeah, that's in the game. And the yeah. secret tunnels? Yeah. And the... Which, the secret tunnels are like game accurate. Do they, they... they go from the right room to the right room. And that was very pleasing for you? Mildly, yeah. In the yeah. game, does a cop knock on the door? Where was the snooker queue? In the game, what do you mean? Snooker queue weapon? That's not in the game. Should be. What, billiard queue? Yeah. No, because then it would, it, that would be a clue to maybe you were murdered in the billiard room. They were killed by the snooker player in the snooker table with the snooker queue. Yeah, they were killed by John Parrott. Jo- uh, and Ali McCoist. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. Cluedo. Those little bits of recognition. The little, like, gave me touchstones of Cluedo. Yeah, just gave me something to think about. Oh, that was it. Rope! Oh. Yeah. They were an escape Gun. From awful uh. film. What didn't you like about this film? The film. Oh, uh, hang on. I'll be Chris in it. Um, the film? Well... <laughs> <laughs> well, um... Uh, the script. There was no jokes in it. There wasn't? No. Oh, there's probably a couple of jokes... Yeah. But very hidden. Yeah. Like, we watched it, and I was, I, because I recognised Madeline Kahn in it. Yeah. I thought, this reminds me a little bit of a Mel Brooks film. Mm-hmm. And then from then on, I was watching it thinking, oh, a, a Mel Brooks film would put a joke in it. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, well, like, Mel Brooks films are relentlessly jokey. Yeah, yeah. This is just, like... Relentlessly exposition films. Oh, my gosh. There was so much exposition. Ah, oh, it was awful. No, I don't. But, I, yeah, I've got that. I didn't like the start of the film and the end of the film. It was, it's just exposition. The film. Yeah, I've 
I've never seen a film with this much exposition. No, so Tim Curry has to explain everything. What they're all doing there, who they all are, what's going on at the beginning of the film, several times. The, the film, the plot. And then at the end of the film... The detective does the, the reveal. Yeah, the detective explains how the who the murderer is. How we, how we found out. Yeah. So Tim Curry does a big exposition dump. It basically goes through... Not basically. It does. It goes through the film. It goes through the, yeah, the previous 20 minutes. Literally. Beat by beat. You don't put any jokes in, but what they do do is make him run around. Yeah, he does a run and then everyone has to keep up. Yeah, like that's an excuse for entertainment. It's not a joke. No. Like I said to you, is it a is it a satire of those expedition dumps that you get in murder mystery? But you said can't be because there's no jokes in it. No. It was it's it felt like it was meant to be. Yeah. And then because they they keep going, Oh, I get to the point already. Yeah, yeah. But it it just becomes the thing that they're making a joke of. So it's not. It's yeah, it's trying to satirize tedious expedition dumps. Overly it long just becomes an overly long tedious exposition dump. Yeah, it's the camera just on Tim Curry, and he's just stood there talking. It's just a oh, it's just terrible. Mm-hmm. But there's a mental five minutes in the middle of it. Yeah, there's a couple of funny slapstick <laughs> jokes. Who's your best one? Who's your best one? Best one is one of those slapstick jokes. I think we might have the same best one. Shut up. Because it was the only part that we both laughed at. Yeah. Is the singing telegram joke. Oh, no, it's not mine. No. No, but I I better start laughing on that. So they are running around. It's like... Doing nothing. It's like the peak... Slapstick, isn't it? Everyone's just building, like it's slapstick yeah, over slapstick yeah. over slapstick because they're yeah. all split up looking through the house and they're all going insane. Yeah. And the doorbell rings and uh, you don't see who answers it, do you? No. The doorbell rings, someone answers it. It's a singing telegram. But the pace of the film at this moment is like unbelievably fast. Yeah. It's yeah. just non stop. And then this straight into. Doorbell rings, someone answers it, a singing telegram's there. She says, I'm a singing telegram, and someone shoots her. And she dies. Immediately. It's that quick. Yeah, she gets introduced, and then she di- and then this woman gets shot. Yeah. And it's just the, sp- it's just the speed of it. Like, what is, what is, go- what? <laughs> yeah. Because it cuts, because it doesn't really, the characters see her, and immediately shut the front door on her. They go, oh, there's a person here. <laughs> and then they close the front door, and then leave, just leave her. Yeah. What's your best one? My best one is the shower. Okay, yeah. The yeah. same scene, the same bit of the movie. Everyone's yeah. running around, yeah. trying to not die, yet also killing people. Mm, I don't know. Yeah. And the, the lights are going off. Mm-hmm. Singing telegram gets killed. And yeah. Tim Curry goes, tries to get out of a room, yeah. turns a door handle, and a shower comes on. <laughs> just in his face. And he just gets wet in a shower. And I... Oh, yeah. it's like one of the funniest things I've seen in ages. Yeah. Just purely because, why is that a shower? He put, he turns a door handle. Yeah, and a shower. And a shower yeah. comes on. It amazed yeah. me. He must have been annoyed at that, because the rest of the film, he's going to have to be wet now. I don't think he was. I think they just... No, went, he was a bit damp. Was he? Yeah. I don't think he would mind. No. Because he was... professional, he, isn't he? Yeah, but he's silly. Yeah. I think it was, like, I think it was his idea. Oh, really? Can we turn the shower on? Yeah. And then it'll be even funnier, because I'm yeah. running around and I'm all wet. Yeah, I did see something where he said this is one of his favourite films. Um, It looked like he had a great time. Yeah, he was having loads of fun. What's your worst one? Who's your worst one? It's the third act. Yeah. All of it. The entire third act. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, the, the first act is just, it's just awful 80s movie. Like, it's really dated. Yeah. Really sexist. Mm-hmm. It's just shit. Homophobic. Yeah. You know, it's got that, it's just old... Um, Considering it, uh, Spinal Tap came out a year before, what? So this isn't it, this isn't oh. as old as Spinal Tap. It's just it's just real bad taste, isn't it? Yeah. And then, but this the third act was just there was no. I was on the verge. I hated it. Yeah, yeah. So the third act is um, Tim Curry revealing who the murderer is and how they did it, and how he knows who the murderer is. By doing the whole film over again. So he repeats 
the three times <laughs> the film ends and then it has two more endings because when it was shown in cinemas it had three different endings i hate it i think that's why i like the chris mckean ending because it ended i was like oh yeah because it's an actual ending it's like that's an it's a it's a shit joke but it's a joke who's your worst one multiple endings the third act yeah because <laughs> you watch it and it ends I oh, thank god for that and then the card comes up is that how it happened? Maybe this. And oh, so Paul. you have three separate, three separate messes of convoluted exposition. Mm-hmm. And it's exhausting. <laughs> Would you recommend Clue? No. Uh, no. Uh, uh, Not even Upbeat Positive Chris could recommend this film. Hey, Upbeat Positive Chris. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Would you recommend Clue? Uh, no. Watch a Mel Brooks movie or Spinal Tap. Or if you're bored and you're in, stuck in the house for the to get away from all that grubby coronavirus outside, yeah, play Clue though. Yeah, with your family or friends. We we'll just write your own Clue <laughs> film, and it'll probably be better. So no, don't watch it. Would you recommend it? No. Why not? I hated it. I would not recommend it. Watch Watch your score. Three. Three. Yeah. Just full on dislike. Mm-hmm. Because it's got a good cast. Yeah. And I like the board game Clue. <laughs> Clue day. And so, so that's why you don't hate it? Yeah, because the cast's good and they're trying. Yeah. But it completely wastes the cast. Mm-hmm. And it completely wastes the premise. Like Knives Out? Yes. What would you score it? I gave it a four. A four? Yeah. It's like it. Some funny bits. Yeah, because I wanted to give it a two. Yeah. Considering you just said you stopped watching the film, I started watching the background. Yeah, I stopped listening. You gave it a four. Yeah. Yeah, because because a four, like, like if I give it a two, I hate it. Yeah, well, I laughed at this <laughs> film more than like most modern comedies. Yeah, I laughed at more of this film than yeah. like Bill and Ted. More than the house. More than Jane and Silent Bob. Yeah, more than any film we've reviewed on this. Yeah, so it's I can't give it a two and I can't give it a three because it's not like four is. I disliked it. I did. Yeah, but there were good, there was good bits. Mm. Yeah, it's it's got to be a four. 